one of the important question in the interviews. Whenever we are doing the setups in global HR module, so at what level you are going to perform that? And when you are doing the setups at payroll module, what level you will do the setups? So global HR module is basically complete uh, deployment options, right? So we are going to deploy the enterprise structure. Then we are going to deploy the workforce structure. Then we are going to hire an employee. Okay. So the actual process for hiring an employee will start uh, here. Here actual process will start. When we are hiring an employee, we'll do it at what level? Legal employer level. That's why when you go for uh, employee hiring uh, page, the first organization name it will ask us is, it will ask us, uh, can you tell me, oh, it will ask us like legal employer name, name of the legal employer. So it won't ask you the enterprise name. It won't ask you the division or LDZ or ledger. It will ask you the legal employer. Next level, it will ask you the business unit. Then it will ask you the department, job, position, grade, location, manager, assignment information we are going to enter. So a uh, global HR module will be implemented at what level? Legal entity level. How about the payroll module? It will be implemented at LDZ level. That is one of the important questions. Whenever we are configuring the setups in payroll module, completely it comes at a LDZ level. When you try to perform any payroll module setups, it will ask us the legislative data group for which LDZ you are going to. For example, you try to create element, you try to create a payroll, you try to create consolidation group, you try to create a uh, the payment methods, any setup and payroll model, even when we are working with the fast formulas also, obviously it will ask us the legislative data group. It's very simple. Global HR is um, configured at legal entity level and uh, the payroll will be configured at LDC level, legislative data group. Okay. Thank you. Now here we will go for specify the consolidation group here. Uh, so that's why when you try to open any payroll setups, when you are working with the payroll, any payroll setups here, then it will ask you the legislative data group. See, it will ask you LDC, it's mandate. And in fact, when you are searching for this also, let me just uh, search for here. Let's say I'm searching RTL press center. It will ask you to choose the LDC, legislative data group. In fact, it is single star. Single star means it's mandatory. We must choose the legislative data group. Without selecting the legislative data group, we'll not be able to get the information. Okay. So the payroll module comes at LDZ level. All the setups will be configured at legislative data group level. It is.